Kevin here, and I'm, uh, I need to learn speak algebra. Can you please help me? Thanks. <laughs> you know, actually, I know it sounds a little funny, but algebra really is a language in a very real sense. There are terms that you use when you're dealing with algebra that you don't really use in any other time in your life. So from that standpoint, it definitely is its own language. Um, and in order to speak it, you need to be familiar with the common jargon, the common terms of that language. I wrote down some here that are very common. Um, I would definitely recommend that you become familiar with these. And you may want to do a little more research on your own and see what other algebra terms you run across that, uh, that maybe you don't know and you can look up the answers or the understandings of. The more you speak the language clearly, the easier the course will be to follow. So the first term here we're going to use is variable. A variable is a letter that represents a number or holds the place of a number. So it holds the place. Uh, for instance, you might hear the term uh, uh, or the statement 3 plus x equals 7. Now in this particular statement, x represents a very specific number. There's only one number I can put in here that will make this statement true. But x still holds the place of that number until I decide to put it in there. And x can be used for that purpose in any equation, even if I change some of these values to say maybe um, x plus 3 equals 12. If I said x plus 3 equals 12 or 3 plus x equals 12, I don't have to change the x because the x can represent any number I want. It's just that in some situations like this, the number that I would actually put in there is limited. But x can be any number I want. Now a coefficient, a coefficient is the number of variables that you have in a given statement. For instance, if my statement was uh, 4x minus 3, change the number arrows, it's not confusing, 3y equals 2z. In this statement, 4, negative 3, and 2 are all coefficients. They're the numbers of variables that I have, or uh, the number that's being multiplied by the variable, if you wish. So really, in practice, it ends up being the number that comes before the variable in a statement, whether it's an equation or just a, uh, or just a, a, you know, a, a statement of numbers like 3x plus 2y. Now, a constant. A constant is a number that doesn't have a variable associated with it. For instance, um, 3 or 7 or 5,280. Those are all constants. These don't change. Whereas x may be you know, 7 in one instance, or 10 in another, or 9 in one other instance, um, the, the numbers, the constants, don't actually change their values. They will always be what they are. 3 will never be anything other than 3. It won't sometimes decide to be 5. Now, a few more terms I came up with here that I think might be important are the classifications of numbers. Real numbers are really any number that you would use in everyday life. Now, I know it seems kind of silly to even specify why would we want to bother with numbers that weren't real, but you actually will. Um, there are a number of times that you will deal with numbers that don't actually exist on their own, but represent something that can be real later. But all you really need to know for now is that a real number is any number you've ever really seen or used, um, used or seen, um, or that really makes sense to you, to be honest. Um, real numbers all sort of make sense, uh, even if they can't actually be written out. Um, like, say, pi. Pi is a real number. It does make sense. You can see that if you take the distance around a circle and divide it by the distance across, you always get that same number, and that number is pi. Um, now, pi, for instance, is an irrational number. It's not a number that can be written as a fraction. Cannot be written as a fraction. A rational number can be written as a fraction, uh, say, 3 fifths. 3 fifths is a rational number. Um, 4. 4 could be written as 4 over 1, so it's a rational number. Negative uh, 288 is a rational number. These are all numbers that can be written as fractions. Irrational numbers cannot be written as fractions. But irrational numbers and rational numbers are both part of the real number set. So that gives you a little bit of vocabulary to work on. Um, I would definitely recommend, like I said, that you continue to research anytime you run across a word. Look it up, see what it means. It only takes a few seconds, especially with you know Google. Um, you can find the meanings of words in, in a matter of just a couple of seconds. And it really does make learning the rest of algebra much, much easier.